Hey y'all, today we're setting up our June daily bullet journal or planner. So um, I plan really simply and efficiently and I also do this on a budget. So I just use a college ruled notebook and that has worked really, really well for me. So um, I'm going to start writing out the days of the week and also I do uh, my adapted version of the weekly home blessing hour. And we're just going to continue on writing the days of the week. I'm just going to go through one week. Usually I do this on Sunday. So um, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and go through Friday. But usually how I do it is on a Sunday. So we're going to get the rest of these. And this may not be the correct abbreviation. This is just what works for me. I just try and do it as fast and efficient as possible. So we're almost there and let's see oh I messed up there always mess up I am NOT a perfectionist so we'll just we'll just go with that okay so um whatever what I do first um, I like to make like a month at a glance so um, I basically write all of the important dates like that need to be done on certain days, like appointments, all those things at the top of this page. So um, for June on the 2nd, I need to be sure and pay the bills. And on the 3rd, I also get all my orders in, like my online orders. I try and do that all in one go. That way you don't have to pay more shipping or anything like that. Um, then on the 6th, I take my measurements and then I think, yes, also on the 6th, I need to remember since it is a Thursday, I need to remember to take the trash out. That's the day I make sure all the trash is out. And I also have found that writing reschedule has helped me remember to add it in. I actually put in put it in here a couple different times to help me remember that because I am really bad at just glancing and forgetting something. So uh, then I think on the 14th, um, there's a family member, doctor's orders, they got to take vitamin D, so I'm just going to abbreviate here, and I also put to reschedule that, they have to take that, I think like every 10 days or so, and then uh, we'll, on the 16th, we, uh, I will have our vinegar done, and I make our own homemade vinegar, it's really easy to do, you only need three ingredients, and I have a video showing how we make that, also, um, on the 14th, I forgot, <laughs> I also need to make fertilizer, so, and, and fertilize the garden, so, actually, I'm already making fertilizer, I just need to make sure and fertilize the garden on the 14th, so, um, I also have a video showing how I do that, I do everything on a budget and try and make it as cheap as possible, so, um, if you'd like to check that out, I have a video sharing that, and then, let's see, so, then it, on the 28th, we will um, need to fertilize again. So I'm gonna put that there. And then on the 30th, I do my review and reflection. This is a page that I set up in my monthly. So we'll try and fit that in here. Okay, so that's what I do. This is like my month at a glance on this side. And then on the top of the page on this side is I kind of do like my week at a glance, like. All the things that I need to remember, I kind of separate it out into little categories. So uh, this first little area here is kind of like things that I need to remember that maybe, I don't know, like projects maybe is the right word for it. Like I need to dehydrate herbs. Um, there are certain herbs this month that I have got to make sure that I get dehydrated. Um, like our passion flower where we're at and I also need to dehydrate a few more dandelion leaves. And also I'm working on trying different uh, foods and things and see what works as far as being dehydrated that we like. So I'm just calling this a dehydrator project. I'm trying to try at least like two things a month and see if we like them well enough dehydrated. I'm finding that there are more and more things that we like dehydrated and we it's so great because we live in a really small house like 700 I think 703 square feet so and there's four of us and it is great because it takes up so much less space and then the next section here I kind of write like my recipes that I would like to make or things that I want to make for extra things that I want to put in the freezer 
So um, something I want to be sure and try and get nailed down is homemade stir fry rice. We were buying the rice a mixes of this and it's just kind of got pretty expensive and um, I think we can figure out how to make that homemade easy enough. And then I also want usually every month I try and make a, at least one batch, but here lately I've been doing two uh, batches of biscuits. Let's see. And um, I have a recipe video. This is our Southern Fluffy Biscuits. This is our favorite biscuit recipe. And the great thing about this is that they do really, really well if you put them in the freezer after you've cooked them and you just thaw them a little bit and they are ready to go and so good. So we really like having that as like a convenience meal. Another thing that I do that's like a convenience meal is our English muffins. I usually every month make that too. And um, these are the same way. They, after you like cook them and everything, they go into the freezer great and they are great. Like you just have to do the same thing. Just thaw them and they're amazing. <laughs> we really enjoy having those. And uh, something else that I do that's like a convenience meal is I make uh, homemade mashed taters and um, I put those in the freezer too. And I have like, I make several different varieties. So um, I need to get more of those in there because I think I only have one variety. And then this kind of other area that I left there, <laughs> this is more like my gardening area. And this is really mostly dependent on the weather. Um, so um, I may or may not need to water depending on <laughs> if we get rain or not. Usually in June, that's when all of the rain shuts down, but hopefully we'll get lucky and it won't be that way. Um, I also need to be sure and weed, and um, we already got to fertilize, so I'm not going to write that down, and I also need to keep working on my fruit area to try and keep the weeds down. That is a big issue. I couldn't figure out what to do with that, so I'm still working on that one. Okay, so we're going to start working on the dailies now. So um, what I do is basically I do my morning routine. And then um, I do my, I just put like my afternoon routine and then I do my dinners and then I do my evening routine. So that's kind of like every day what I do. I just kind of write it like this. That way I'm not having to write out every single thing that I do because I, I don't know about y'all, but I would run out of space with all the things that I need to do for all of this. So I just kind of simplify it like that. And I, just, I find that that is a lot more efficient. I, it kind of bothers me to have to write things all the time. So um, something that I did to create, a, to make this easier, because I was struggling with my morning routine really bad, is I made this flip out and it works great. So like whenever I do, like whenever I do something, I just do a little check mark like that. But for these days on like the second day on the dailies, I just use my ruler and make a little checkbox here. Now this may not be perfect. I'm not a perfectionist, so <laughs> I'm just gonna go with it. But I just use that little checkbox and then I have that all ready for my morning routine. And I'm kind of on the fence whether I'm gonna add my afternoon routine or evening routine. I don't think so. I have yet to do it, so I'm not sure. But that's if that's something that would help you, like if you're trying to work on that, that's like an option that you can do. I also keep like my workout schedule on there and everything to help me with remember all of that, but that falls all within my routines. Another thing that I do um, every week, usually on Sunday, <laughs> Sunday's like my big reset day, I do the Fly Lady Weekly Home Blessing Hour, and this is kind of like my version. Um, this is basically where I'm getting my physical space reset. So um, what I like to do, I like to be sure and dust, and then um, I wash all the bedding and throws. Um, then let's see, what do we do? Um, I do the bar and the TV. The bar is where I have a lot of my house plants. So next I move on to watering the plants. And then I move on to the kitchen and I scrub down the dish drainer. We don't have a dishwasher, so I like to make sure and get that all cleaned. I also uh, make sure I put down a new towel for that as well. I usually have to change that several times through the week, but I like to make sure and get a new one since it's nice and clean. Then since I'm still in the kitchen, I make 
one of my, actually I make two different cleaners. So I go ahead and do that. One of them's pretty fast. The other one takes a little bit more time. And then I move on to the bathroom. So I just abbreviate for a lot of this and I be sure and add toilet paper. Um, also while I'm in there, I like to refill the bottles um, and also the soap. And let's see, yeah, after that, then basically I just vacuum the whole house. And I also remember to, to vacuum the air conditioning filters. We just have window units and it works great with that. I don't know if y'all can do that with the disposable ones, but it works great for our air conditioners. And then after I vacuum, I mop. And then also I know this really doesn't have to do with physical space, but while I'm doing all of this, I usually set up my computer to do its updates. So um, I'm gonna just go ahead and write it in here because that's it's kind of tied to this. So um, I'm just gonna abbreviate too. So that's what I'm gonna put there. And now we're gonna move on to like the rest of my reset to like get ready for the week. So here's where I write um, like, whoops, there we go, reset. This is where I write like all of, we figure out what recipes we think we might want for the week. So we get that kind of sorted. Um, I make my grocery list um, and then also uh, shop. <laughs> Hopefully I will have a much better experience than the last time I went to town the other day. This was so crazy. So um, we went to town and went to Walmart and I had my groceries and we were heading to the checkout. And uh, me and the editor, when we were headed to the checkout, I thought I heard them say something about the back of the store all like I think they said like employees to the back of the store and I couldn't make out what they were saying and I thought it said ing at the end and I asked the editor I'm like did you hear what they said did they say tornado warning and they're like well I didn't hear anything and we were going to the register and I noticed people at the customer service area were like kind of running around frantically and <laughs> we had already put all of our stuff up on the conveyor belt and they were literally checking us out and the manager came and told the cashier that they had to go to the back of the store <laughs> because there was a tornado warning. This was so crazy. <laughs> and as that was happening, there was someone behind me saying, it just came up on my phone, there's a tornado warning. Well, we didn't have the phone. Um, my husband was actually waiting for us in the car and I don't know about y'all, but after hearing that and they were like wanting everybody to go in the back of the store, all I could think of were all of these videos that you see online with like the build, these big massive buildings just getting completely wiped out with tornadoes. So I, I decided I'm like, we are not going to go to the back of the store. We're just going to go to the car and try and outrun this thing. But anyways, we get to the car and it was really scary too because we had heard it raining really, really hard when we were shopping and we went outside and it wasn't raining at all and i know that can be a sign of like tornadoes so i was kind of getting nervous we ran to the car and uh i talked to robert and told him what they said and he didn't look nervous at all and he looked it up and the tornado was like a whole county away like south of us and wasn't even heading toward us so <laughs> that was pretty crazy so i went back in and the manager was at the door telling people that there's a tornado warning, that all the cashiers were in the back, that they couldn't check them out. And I said, I asked, I was like, well, can I just do the self-checkout? And she said, no, corporate had shut those down as well. So I went back to the car and we're trying to decide what we should do. Um, I also asked how long she thought it would be and she had no idea. She basically said, whenever the warning's over. <laughs> so we sat there and waited and luckily um, I seen a lot of people, well, not luckily, I was about to say something else, but I seen a lot of people come out of the store really, really upset because nobody could get their groceries. It was really wild. I never experienced that. And uh, about 10 minutes later, we were sitting there trying to decide what to do. I seen someone come out with their bag and I went back in and <laughs> they were done already checking other people out. So that was pretty crazy. And when I asked the cashier about it, he was saying that um, that has happened to him five times this spring. So <laughs> I, I told him, I said, I could only imagine if they go for such a big area that if there's a tornado warning, they make them do that. So that was a pretty wild experience at Walmart. <laughs> and we were wondering, like, what in the world do you do if you do the grocery pickup? <laughs> what happens there? I guess you're just stuck out there to wait. 
but that was pretty crazy. I, I've never experienced anything like that. Like, I, I guess they, they expect you to have phones and to be notified and everything too, but it was, it was really, really wild. I, I had never experienced anything like that before. Okay, so back to the planner after our crazy little story time here. So um, the next thing I do is make sure and move all of the files to the hard drive. And then let's see, what else? Um, also, if there's anything the previous week that I didn't get done, I make sure and move those tasks. I'll either put them here or just move them to certain days. That way it's like not everything that I need to do on one day. So um, I'm gonna move, move the task here. And let's see, I try and get my inbox as close to zero as possible. That can get filled up really fast. Um, other things, I try and have some idea what I'm going to do for YouTube videos. And I also have several reoccurring tasks that I'm trying to figure out um, what I want to do as far as putting them out. Uh, putting them in. I don't know if I want to do another flip out or what. I'm still trying to figure that out. But as for right now, I'm writing the nap, them out, but it doesn't feel very efficient. But that's what I'm doing right now. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just write these few things here that I do. The morning routine, the afternoon routine, dinner, and evening routine. And I had tried many, many different planners and I never could find one that functioned very well for me. I was, there were always things that I didn't use um, or I just, they just never functioned. I know for me personally with my, the way my brain works, I cannot do like a horizontal planner and I think a lot of planners are kind of geared towards, towards that and that is just not the way that my brain works. But the good thing about doing it like this is if that that is what works for you. You can make setups just like that in the same little notebook and it's super easy and you can you can find all kinds like basically if there's a setup that you like in a planner just recreate it on a notebook so it's really cheap to do. It really doesn't take very long at all and I found that it works so much better because you can make it function exactly how you want it to. So I am much happier doing it this way but if y'all do something new or have any suggestions for like the reoccurring task, I will greatly appreciate that. I love trying to figure out new things and trying new layouts and seeing what works. If I wouldn't have tried all these different layouts and did all these things, I never would have known <laughs> what works for me. So that is really good to do. Okay, so after I get all of that put in, I look at my things that I need to for sure do this month. So on the second, I need to pay bills. So I'm going to write that there. And I also usually star it on the monthly things since they're something like new and they're really important. So I'll be sure and star those. And then on the third, I need to put the orders in. And we'll go ahead and star that. Let's see what else. The sixth, we have our measurements. And... I won't star the trash out. That it's not horribly important, but I just try and like to make sure and get everything out since they'll pick it up on Friday. And we'll put reschedule here. And usually what I'll do is I just won't like scratch that off. And whenever I go to um, Sunday where it says to do the move the task that didn't get done, that's like another thing to help me remember to reschedule that. And so then I move on to like the things that I need to get done on the week or during the week. So the first thing is to hydrate herbs. So we're just going to fill that in on one day. So we'll put dehydrate herbs. I've got a few things that I need to get. Like I said, the passion flower and dandelion leaves for sure. And I'll probably find something else that I need to do. Um, I think the next day we're going to try and do the uh, homemade. Well, am I? No, I think I'm going to do biscuits. Yes, that's what I'm going to do this day. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do one or two batches of biscuits. I, I've been finding that I almost need to do two. So I think I'm going to do two. And then I'm going to, on Monday, I'm going to make the, we'll just put it down here. We'll do the homemade stir fry rice. And we'll try and get that nailed down and exactly the same. Hopefully that, or even better, that'd be, be nice to do that too. Okay. Um, and then we're going to move to these next days. And on the fourth, 
I think we're going to do English muffins. But I just try and spread it out so like everything's not happening on one day. And Wednesday we'll do the mashed taters. Um, let's see. Thursday I think I will do my dehydrator project. I've, I've kind of got a list of things that I'm working through seeing whether we like them or not. And I think that's everything. I don't think I have anything for, for Friday. I may switch these around based upon like the weather and stuff. But that's pretty much what I do there. I'm trying to see. So um, after I get to this page, I will um, generally transfer what's left. So like starting at 614, I will transfer those. And if I think like generally I always put like my gardening things here. And if there's anything else new that comes up for the week that I need to remember, I'll put that there. But that's basically how I do it. I kind of have my my month at a glance, my week at a glance, and then my dailies plus my like completely reset areas. But this is what has worked for me for a really long time. If y'all uh, do planning and have found something that works really good for you, be sure and share it down below in the comments because I love learning and trying new things. Thank y'all all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time. Bye!